Hey everybody, let's destroy something today. <laughs> wanted to see what was inside of this CBA bottle. I have an idea what's in there already, but this one's out of life. And so I'm going to do the DOT thing and drill a hole into it. That's DOT standard, so I have to do that before uh, throwing it away. And uh, before I even get started, warning, 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 I'm going to bleed this out and then we're going to get to destroying it. <laughs> Alright, now that it's bled out, I can go ahead and drill a hole in it. There you go. DOT, I have complied. <laughs> so, I've got my Sawzall, I've got my breathing mask, and I've got my earmuffs. I'm going to cut the head off this sucker. So here you go guys, this is what's inside an SCBA bottle. One thing I've noticed is this little straw here. So as air gunners, if we get moisture in our tank and we're using SCBA, we may not know it because the straw is, you know, it's grabbing usually this way. But even if you tip it upside down and try to bleed out that water that you suspect is in there, you're not going to. Not unless you have a lot of water in there. So neat stuff. How thick? We got an aluminum canister that's about 5 30 seconds thick, followed by wrap after wrap after wrap of fiberglass, which is approximately uh, two, four, six, seven, 30 seconds thick, approximately. And then epoxied and all that kind of good stuff. I can imagine making one of these as an absolute mess but it's not as clean as you would think inside. Got some pitting in there. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna take the valve off because the valve is really the only thing worth any kind of money. I don't even know if this one's worth any money, but whatever, I'll take the valve off and throw it out. Here's a look inside the can itself. Not much really to talk about in there. Other than the pitting, it is pretty darn clean, though, which it should be. Here's the valve system, guys, unscrewed from the bottle. It's got one big old O-ring. Looks like it's got a little bit of uh, maybe some silicone on there. Mm, pretty simple. Just a simple valve after that. Now, from what I've heard, when they hydro test this, and I found this out directly from the hydro tester, they will temporarily and for a very, very short time 
pressurize these with water up to 7,500 PSI. And what the guy is looking for is at that pressure, how much is the bottle expanding? How fast, how much? And they take that measurement and they do what they need to do with it to say, yes, this passes, no, this doesn't pass. If they left it at 7,500 PSI, it would blow up. That's what I was told. Uh, but it is expanding. And I've heard this as well, if you take a bottle from zero, I haven't tested this, so I don't know if it's true, but if you take a bottle at zero and you put masking tape around it, and then you fill it up to 4,500, the masking tape will break. <laughs> Which shows you that the bottle is expanding. <laughs> A little nerve-wracking when you're dealing with those types of pressures, but that's why these things get hydro-tested and recertified every five years. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I had to show you. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, happy shooting. Thanks for watching. There you go, guys. <laughs> now you know what's inside. <laughs> Not.